Kevin Bowen live here at Banker's Life Fieldhouse. No court behind me. Pink performed here last night. Looked like a really fun show. Wish I could have been there. Kevin Pritchard, Nate McMillan, final season ending press conference just ended about an hour long. A lot of uh, interesting tidbits. We will run them down. First off, Kevin Pritchard, extremely giddy about this summer. This is a very excited guy with all the flexibility that he has. Um, around 43 to 45 million is the number that he has in cap space for his basketball team. Some important decisions, certainly, uh, but he made it very, very clear they have to upgrade the talent on this roster. Um, he had a quote that he said, true talent shows out in the playoffs and I, I think that's definitely true um, he mentioned getting faster shooting more threes um, finding a guy that can you know maybe break defenses down off the dribble all as keys that he wants to add this offseason Victor Oladipo update Kevin Pritchard had dinner with Victor on Sunday still no timetable at least publicly that the Pacers want to give on the return date for Victor, Victor Oladipo on the court he is entering the physical therapy part of the offseason or a uh, part of the rehab um, and as you would expect Victor very upbeat and uh, Kevin Pritchard very adamant that it's not necessarily when Victor will get back to or, or it, it is a question of just when he will get back to full strength they firmly believe that this is going to be a guy that gets all the way back to that all-star level that he was um, as far as their own free agents, Boyan Bogdanovich is probably the, the, the biggest name of that list. And Kevin Pritchard said come July 1, they expect to have extensive talks with Bogey. So that will be um, probably maybe the highest priority free agent the Pacers have. If I had to rank the other order, I'd say Thad Young and Corey Joseph are probably next in line. Those seem to be the most popular names for Kevin Pritchard on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Uh, as far as their own players, DeMonta Sabonis and Miles Turner, they want those guys to play together. Both Nate McMillan and Kevin Pritchard mentioned that on Wednesday, that they could see you know lineups, maybe even starting lineups, with those two guys together. I think that will be a big storyline to watch next fall. Um, Nate even mentioned you know Domas as a starter is a real possibility for this team. But again, a lot of that depends on the dominoes that will come this offseason. Aaron Holiday, the rookie point guard, um, you know, not probably a starter next year, but Nate McMillan definitely thinks he can be a rotational player because he gives the Pacers what they're striving for moving forward. That's more pace, that's more shooting, you know, things like that. Um, that's certainly what Aaron Holiday brings as a point guard. Lastly, the 18th pick in the draft for the Pacers, Kevin Pritchard. Again, very adamant that that draft pick could be used in a variety of ways. Trade up, trade down, trade for a player. Uneven trades could be something the Pacers explore this offseason as well, thanks to the cap space that they have. So I'm Kevin Bowen signing off here from Banker's Life Fieldhouse. Head to 1070thefan.com for a full recap.